Alrighty, so I did my due diligence and we have your three screens open up at the same time. We first have here our domain learnxmlnow.com as it is at this stage while we're creating a course. We have our domain itself, our server, which supports PHP. And we have our editor Smoltron. And I'm using Cyberduck because it's a really great editor, simple while well, I'm on a Mac. But you should work with whatever editor you feel like working with. If it's if you find it hard to find an editor for uh, this contact us and we'll be more than happy to help you in our community forums on our Facebook chat on pages and so on and so forth so let's look at our PHP file and just take a peek and see what's inside of it right now what's really nice about this editor is I could edit the PHP and it will automatically as soon as I save the file update it back onto the server so we could see live updates all right, so we did our intro to this and now we're ready to start scripting some PHP. Now, like I said in our previous video, there's a lot of different ways of working with XML. And actually one of the most simple ways of doing it in PHP is, is a library that's called Simple XML. And I wanna show you how Simple XML works. Now, there's really two main ways how you'd be working with XML on, a server, on the server side. You might be generating the XML yourself and then trying to output that to the user. And you might be just wanting to fetch an XML that already exists to fetch information out of it. Both are legitimate. So let's look at the first tab and the second tab at the same time. First of all, let's imagine that we want to create an XML on our own. And let's imagine that we had a string that was that XML that we wanted. So let's create that string. So first of all, this is how we create a variable in PHP. If you don't know PHP, notice how we have here this dollar sign. That's our definition of our variable. Without it, we would get into trouble. And I'm going to create my little sample XML. It's going to be very, very rudimentary. And I'm just going to have here some code that says, hello world. And I'm ready to do something, right? So first of all, I have a string. Now I really want to convert that into an XML so I could work with it. The way I convert it into a simple XML in PHP is really, really simple. So I'm going to create a variable. I'm going to call it simple SM or SX for simple XML. And I'm going to create a new simple XML element. And I'm going to send into it that string that we just created. Now that string could have came from anywhere, but really it's just a string, any string. Now, if obviously if I run it right now, because we're running in PHP, we wouldn't see anything. So I really have to output something. Now, because I created a really, really basic element, if I just try to echo that simple element, if I just try to echo it the way it is, it's just going to output that child because it's a simple node and we're actually already inside of it when we name it, right? Because we're in the root as soon as we call it. So if I save this and just refresh my browser, we're going to see that I'm going to see that hello world. And we have here our first native simple XML application. We're ready to start building and creating dynamically new XMLs and integrate them into our PHP. Now let's see a really a more, you know, a more realistic scenario where instead of this, we'd actually have that XML on a file waiting for us, which is actually this file. If we click on our edit so we could see what's in that file, we'll see that we I created a very, very simple XML file. It has a header, it has a header, and it has a title. So let's see how we could actually fetch that file. Very, very simple with simple XML. There's a very simple function. All I have to do is set my XML and I could then just call the function simple XML load file with these underlines, underlines, simple XML, underline, load, underline file. And all that's left is for me to name the name of the file that I want to load. In my case, it's info.xml. And there you go. After line seven, we already have an XML and we could test this out and see if that's really true. And I could just echo out, let's echo out, let's see in our XML. If I just echo out our XML, I'm not gonna get anything because this is a complicated element which really is gonna take us to our next topic which is going to be how to actually access information inside of the XML. So now we, we're not getting anything, but we definitely have that XML. Only when we're trying to output it, we're out, trying to output all of this. So automatically it's just returning to us nothing or emptiness. So we, we just covered two really major stuff. One, we saw how to create our own XML ourselves. If this was a simple XML, which had only a line of text right here, we would output it, but it's not right now. And obviously our next step is to see how to travel through the XML 